It's a classic, plain and simple. <laughs> I do all my own work. You do all your own work and you yeah. look this good? 55, 56, and 57 are the most popular. My engine does not look anything like this. The regular horn, and then... <laughs> the dice. The dice is a classic, right? Are you a car enthusiast, a mechanic, are they so... What, what are you? I do restorations for a living. The truck's name is Grace. She's named after Grace Kelly. Oh, yes. Of course you would name her after that. <laughs> Today, we are at Stewie's Diner, known for their throwback 50s style food and decor. But they don't just limit themselves to this. They are also a popular spot for muscle and vintage car enthusiasts. Just look how perfectly 50s this place looks when they're lined up outside the diner. Wow. You guys, this is one of the cleanest engines I probably have ever seen in my life. Steve, what do you do to keep it in such great condition? Just keep on top of it. Keep cleaning all the time. Never drive it in the rain. It took about five years to be able to buy this car from the fellow that had it because uh, he lived in Kelowna and he'd phone me and tell me that it was for sale and I'd go down to pick it up and then he wouldn't be able to sell it. <laughs> so I'd leave. Finally, his health deteriorated and he knew I was extremely interested in the car and uh, knew the history of the car because of the many times I tried to buy it from him. And finally, he phoned me and sold me the car, so. What was it about this car that kept you going back to Kelowna and just really wanting it? Uh, just the style. The 55, 56, 57 have always been my favorite Chevys. When do you take it out for a drive? Is this something you do on weekend afternoons or with your wife? When do you enjoy driving? Uh, both on the weekends and such, but we have cruise nights, which yeah. Dawson Creek as well as Fort St. John do uh, every week. We've got very good bonds with the car clubs in Fort St. John and Dawson, and we work well together. Uh, hopefully it'll carry on and grow, you know, is, is what we're looking for, more people to be interested in not necessarily the older cars, but any cars, just to get together and make a social event. Absolutely. Rose, this is your amazing truck, and you you work on this yourself. I do. Ah, girl power. This is super funky inside. Yes, and it's almost all stock. Um, what year is it? And, and what kind of car is it? A, a Fargo. A Fargo, like yes. my favorite TV show. Exactly. <laughs> It's got a Valari front clip, so it's been lowered. It's been notched in the rear end, so it sits a lot lower than it would normally stock. Stock, it would probably sit another eight inches higher than this. So, and it's got power steering, power brakes. It's got a newer motor in it, so. So you've done a lot of upgrades. Yes. And I love orange. Yes. Did you paint it? Yourself? No, this is actually almost original paint. Wow. The last time this was painted was, I believe, 68. Can we see under the hood? Sure. This is super awesome. And again, it's just, all these are so clean and so basic inside, right? Are the mechanics different? Like, do you actually work on them at all? Yes, I do. I do all my own work. You do all your own work and yes. you look this good? <laughs> Dream girl over here. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> is there anything inside that's kind of unique or different or any, or even original? Nothing under the hood's original. It's all been changed. I guess that's the reason it still runs. Yes. Well, this is a 318 out of a 73 Dodge Dart, so. Can you get pretty fast in this thing? Uh, the speedometer goes up to 80 miles an hour and I have it up there, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have other vintage cars or is this the only one? I've got this one. I've got a 28 Chrysler I'm building. It's out at our parts yard. And then I actually found my great-great-grandmother's 47 Studebaker convertible in town. And you look the part too. It's like I've just seen, I've walked into the 50s. Your hairdo is perfect. Yeah, I always try whenever I go out with this thing to dress up. Do people always ask you for pictures? Yes. <laughs> Do you oblige them or is it annoying? Uh, it's, no, I don't mind. <laughs> When we come back from our break, we'll meet two more car enthusiasts and see what's under their hoods. Well, we run down here quite a bit. We come down just about every Thursday night, too. 
What do you come down for on Thursday? For the Dawson Creek uh, cruise nights. That's awesome. So you're from Fort St. John, but you make it down on cruise nights because the community, the car enthusiasts get together, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You guys also do that in Fort St. John as well, is that yeah, right? Correct, yeah. We do it Tuesday nights. We meet up at the uh, kids are in the parking lot of 96 and 96. Same kind of idea. We, BS, kick tires, and uh, go for a cruise, and then end up at a and or Dairy Queen. Awesome. And yeah. um, what Steve was saying, you don't have to have an old school car. They want people to feel included, whether you have a classic muscle car or not. Is that right? That's exactly right. We have quite a few different vehicles that show up now, and we're getting uh, getting more and more of that enthusiast going. If you just love driving your car and coming out and going for a cruise, we want you there. So when you were little, did somebody have one of these cars? What was it that you really liked? I, wanted one. I've always loved the 57 Bel Air. It was this back fin and everything else. Just the always wanted one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Bel Air sign went into the shop first. I could afford a Bel Air sign. So it went into the shop and then little lo and behold, a year later was able to pull this in. Not quite what it looked like now, but... Uh, did you have to restore it? It, uh, no, the car it was painted like this and everything else, but it just needed a lot of tender loving care. I was just inside and somebody mentioned that Warren basically restored this. This was something that his grandparents owned. Can you tell me about the history of this vehicle? Yeah, my grandpa raced it in 1956. It was a stock car. Like it was pretty much, uh, well, I tracked it down about 12 years ago. And it was pretty much a beat up body on a bent frame. <laughs> it, took about, oh, it took about 12 years to find all the parts for it. Anyways. Get out, 12 years of work. It's like a baby for you. Yeah, so I guess it's pretty much, I pretty much had it for 15 years, I guess. So. Wow. Are you scared to drive it sometimes because of all the work you've put in? No, I drive it pretty much every day. <laughs> wow. So if you guys see this, you know it's Warren's car. I, the color, it's the best color of red I've ever seen. Did you choose to do this or was it red before? Uh, he, it was red when he races as, as a stock car. And it's, it's actually a 1956 Ford Vermilion Red. So I picked it because it was the year that he raced it. And, and what, yeah. wait, what is this car? It's a Ford what, sorry? Uh, 35 Ford, five window coupe. Awesome. Uh, and did your grandparents, do they know that you've restored it? Are they still around to see it? No, my grandpa passed away before I before I came along anyways. So. Oh, really? He's probably looking down thinking like, darn, Warren, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. It seems like you and Rose definitely have this passion. As they're a couple, don't they look so good together, you guys? Do you have any goals? Is there a dream car that you guys want to work on together? No, it's pretty much my dream car. We've got a lot of other projects and such. And you get to work on other people's cars, so that's probably quite oh, yeah. satisfying for you. Yeah, it's, most days aren't even like work, so it's pretty good. Yeah, everybody dreams to say that. Now, one last question. We want to talk about the car community here in Dawson Creek. We've heard a little bit about it in Fort St. John. Who comes together? What type of people? And, and a little bit about it. Well, it's kind of all, all sorts of people that come together about it. And, like, I don't know, everything from like import cars to hot rods and stuff, it's pretty cool. Okay, now make him go fast. If you are looking for more information on the Mile Zero Cruisers Car Club, go to Facebook to check them out. And remember, you don't have to have a vintage or muscle style car, you just need wheels to cruise with them. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Emily Moyes.